my work is not abstract, but is not also um, realistic. So it's something in between. It's true that create memories of forms of existing uh, natural forms also like uh, water like uh, but is not water like horizon that is not horizon like uh, a different uh, like this element that we go to fishing how do you call that hawk like a hawk it seems like a hawk of a fisherman the important for art is to to have these archaic meanings you know so to have this this classical uh, uh, meanings of the life. So it's natural that a work remain you a, a lot of memories because uh, a work of art is impossible to come from nothing. It's a cultural thing. So the problem is to express the culture, if it's possible, the culture of the place. But uh, to realize that, it's necessary that the sculpture become, become part of the space and part of the culture of the space and uh, um, be like, uh, like, it was, like it was always there. there. It was, it's a natural thing. With the project, you, is, the, the important thing is the, the first approach. When you go there and you see the, the, the space and it's important that the space talk you immediately, I mean. He spent a great deal of time on his first visit just standing outside in the freezing rain most of the time. He was outside with his camera kind of really absorbing it and taking it all in and uh, after a while, you know, standing outside, the strange looking guy with a cigarette and a camera taking pictures of the building and holding up his finger and sizing up the building was um, stopped by the police and questioned as to why, what he was doing. The second night that I was there, I have immediately the idea of the project. I will never forget it. He was sitting sort of with a piece of paper and he drew the shape of the sculpture on the paper, a tiny bit of paper, and said, well, this is it. And everyone said, fantastic, that's it. So, this first drawing that, we, that I do, the second day that I was in Tacoma, is exactly the, the work that we do here. This is Costas. Nice to meet you. Good, good, good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. What do we do? What do we do? What do you think? Well, I'm trying to find out. So, either my shop put those little outriggers in the wrong place, or my detailer screwed up, or the surveyor screwed up. Uh, what is the most fast solution? Try to find some way to weld that to the building with something temporary. Then I can get rid of cranes and we can fix everything up there. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to have to bring it back down, I guess. Take those things off, put them in the right place, put it back on again. Well, uh, it seems that we have a small problem. The um, elements that they had to be attached to the building they don't fit so there is a difference of, of i don't know how much probably 40 centimeters they were doing metric system that's why i told costas <laughs> they're doing meters instead of feet it's all screwed up strange but in every big sculpture big project very important project that i i, I done in my life we have strange delayed strains uh, waitings, uh, strange uh, uh, difficulties, but uh, I think that we have to take it like a normal process of the work. In effect, is uh, there are moments that they give you the possibility to think and look in, inside yourself and to, to understand the work and, and the loneliness uh, also help uh, in this uh, reflection. The last news. Okay, the last news of the project is that the glass that we already ordered from China is not uh, fit in the um, iron beam, so we have to cut a small piece from every piece of glass 
so who can make it fit in the in the in the iron uh, beam. So uh, actually, I have we have another delay. So I change my schedule and I will stay until the opening here. And I think that I will ask from the American government the green card also. So after all this <laughs> uh, time here, I can become a kind of uh, uh, emigrant. The glass was uh, is the same size as the steel. So in order for it to fit in the steel, it has to be cut. And by cutting it, Costa's idea was to stagger it. So it's not just one solid wall of glass. It's going to have movement in it. So one piece will overlap another piece, and then it'll overlap. So it it will it will look different than the stacked glass you see that we've done in the storefront, which is probably even better because you yeah. don't want the same element. Exactly. And you'll have a different look different on the sculpture. Look, different look. Yeah. Yeah. More movement in the textile. Right. In the textile. Of the sculpture. Yeah. And it'll probably look more natural, like when you do stack yeah, draw, it yeah, doesn't yeah. all line up. It has movement because yeah. it's different sizes. Yeah, exactly. Fabulous. It's been a, a long uh, journey, but we're, we're, doing uh, okay. we're close. We are close. We're, yeah, close. we're close. close. This was the most difficult moment. Yeah. Now it's right. the easy part. Yeah. Can we just go in there and start going? Okay. Because we get down here about six, six fifteen in the morning. So we'll just we'll just start going. Okay. We got the idea of what's going It's basically an ultraviolet curing resin that adheres the glass together. Spread, we spread the adhesive, hit it with ultraviolet light, and it adheres it together. I even put uh, suntan lotion on it and it still, still gets you. We had enough glue to do the entire sculptural 28 feet of it. And then an engineer frantically because of the city was objecting call and said they had to really trowel on the glue to cover the entire surface of the, of the glass before laying the next piece of glass on top. Um, which meant that we ran out of glue with, over, after the first sort of three feet, which is unfortunate, and we couldn't get it manufactured, so there was, we had to stop everything. There are a lot of discussions around with engineers, a lot of engineers, engineers of the glass, engineers of the structure, uh, big meetings. And finally, we decided the, the way and we'll go on more fast. We had to revisit with the glass engineer and said, Well, why aren't you using silicone? And we said, Because. And he said, Well, silicone is much better because it's very UV tolerant, which we didn't realize. And um, he said, It's a little bit flexible, which you need, and it's very strong. So. The rest of the sculpture was finished with the uh, silicon. Seam the pole. Seam the pole. Didn't you go to school for architecture? Oh yeah, many years. So can you talk about how your work is influenced well, by that? I do architecture school to escape from the art. Because I do first art, so I realize how difficult it is to be an artist, to do really art. I, did, I said, I have to find a way to escape, so we do architecture school. But I find the architecture school very, very, very interesting school, because you get the humanistic culture, you know? The architecture school gives me the dimension of the public space, of the city, of the urbanistic, uh, urbanistic dimension of the space, and uh, give me also the social dimension. But the art usually didn't give you that. You know? Something more individual, more uh, esoteric. The architecture school gave me this opportunity. So it was very important. 
Then I come back to the heart. <laughs> I never do architecture. <laughs> but my, my sculptures are architectonic. We have an architect dimension. What is the goal today? Today? Yeah. Well, yeah. Huh? There. Saturday night, hopefully here, maybe yeah. right to it. Sunday. Tacoma is a place that uh, now, these last years, there is a lot of energy. All the people of Tacoma, they try to push up the quality of, of the city, to create an energy, a new uh, dimension of Tacoma. Uh, and they do it very well, I think. So the, the, the work is actually a sign in the space, express the dynamism of this historical moment of Tacoma. There is a, another element of, of the water around Tacoma. The relationship with the water is, is, is important. It's something that becomes a monument of the water inside this dynamism. Wow, <laughs> unbelievable, eh? Good morning, guys. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, eh? Yes. You like, eh? Yes. It's really unbelievable, yeah. I think it was a good idea to leave it down, the, the glass. So it's feel, it's feel, um, you know? Yes. Eh? Really good. In this huge dimension, uh, sometimes you can lose the sensibility of the touch, you know, of the drawing. I mean, uh, we discuss a lot how to transport this sensibility of the of the pencil uh, touch uh, in the space, uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, we have a good results. Uh, we arrive very near to this initial um, drawing. 